thank you, Cahir uh, Locke, and thank you, Minister. And I want to welcome the Gambling Regulation Bill, which will um, establish the Gambling Regulatory Authority of Ireland. The regulator will have the authority to implement regulations regarding gambling while also being able to levy fees on gambling companies that breach the new rules. And this is a really, really positive step forward. I, can't, I campaigned for this alongside my party colleagues for a number of years outside of government, and I'm thrilled to see it now happening. Laws surrounding gambling in this country largely haven't been updated for over 70 years. The online space has changed now. Gambling companies operate, and this can have a detrimental effect on those vulnerable to gambling. These new laws will ensure there are appropriate safeguards and measures put in place to protect people from gambling in terms of banning inducements and gambling on credit cards. Many people across Ireland gamble safely and within their means and enjoy it, but there are people who become problem gamblers and this can have a heavy impact on them and their families. These laws will put in place consumer protection measures in order to reduce gambling. I want to highlight an important impact of gambling. In someone gets, if someone gets involved in gambling and this leads them to losing their home or their job, it is very difficult to start again or to pick themselves back up. While there are supports out there, one issue that has come up recently is accessing a mortgage or a loan. Some people have, be, have made amends, they have put that life behind them, and to see them refused a chance, blacklisted, is heartbreaking. This is something we need to really look at to enable them to participate again in a healthy society. And this is an area that has actually come up to me in my clinics there. Only recently, a young lady who started gambling very young, and um, like that, she went and she got the support she needed and her family were very supportive. And she had some debts and she cleared them all and she got a really, really good job. And she's now in a position to get a mortgage, but she can't get a mortgage or a loan because she's blacklisted. And I'm just wondering, I mean, we always have to be very mindful of people that have now turned a corner and we don't want to see them in a position where because they're blacklisted, because of no fault through their own and because probably of regulations along with it, we need to secure that they get that support they need. And I'm asking you, Minister, would you look at something there? Because this is something that really does need to be addressed. But I do want to say, I know that the Gambling Regulation Bill paved the way for the establishment of a gambling regulator focused on public safety and well-being. And the reason I said that is, it's about well-being. And I just think, Minister, there is a lot more to be done on this. I welcome this, but I would ask that something be looked at there. Thank you.